Hi, welcome to another video. So, Gemini has started to roll out a new Canvas feature that is similar to the Canvas feature of things like ChatGPT and Claude. Because it's focused on coding, I thought I'd test it and see how well it performs on tasks that are related to coding. First of all, if we talk about what this is, then it basically is made for two tasks, writing and coding. In writing, you can use this to generate content, then you can preview that document, edit something yourself, or you could select a chunk and then ask it to refactor something in that, and so on and so forth. This is great if you do use something like Gemini for document making or research. This makes it much easier to navigate through what it's making and stuff like that. But another one, which is what I like, is that it can be used to do coding and preview the code right within it. It currently supports previews for React and HTML code, which is what anyone generally wants out of this. What it allows you to do is that you can just ask it to do something, and it will write code for you, and then it will try to render it. Not just that, it also allows you to choose a chunk of code, and then you could ask it to change some chunks in that, which is kind of great. It allows you to build interactive prototypes, games, and visualizations. Now, that's enough talk. Let's talk about it, and let's see how well it performs. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. First of all, to use it, you'll need to go to Gemini. This is different from Google AI Studio, by the way. The canvas and other features are free here with the Flash model, while for other models, you may have to purchase their subscription. So, there's that. But, I'm fine with Gemini 2.0 Flash. Now, if you look at the bottom, then you'll see the canvas option here. You also have the deep research option, but that doesn't concern us. Now, you'll need to select the canvas option here. Then, you'll need to send whatever it is that you want it to generate. Since it can do both writing and coding tasks, let's start with some writing tasks. Let's ask it to make a simple essay on how AI will impact the future. As soon as we do that, you'll see that it will start working on it and Flash is actually quite fast. So, you'll see that it is very snappy. You have the chat interface at the left, and at the right, you can see the canvas. Here, you can see the essay that it has generated. You can actually also close it by clicking this cross button here, which will immediately close it and return you back to the main chat interface. But let's open it, and you can see the generation here which looks kind of cool. What you can now do is that you can just have a look or you can also make some follow-up prompts here and ask it to maybe change something in it, which is also great. You can also share this canvas as well. You can just click this option and what it will do is that it will give you a link which you can share with anyone and they can view it as well, which is also great. Another option is export to docs. What this will do is that it will create a Google Doc of this generation and then it will use that, which is actually kind of great because most of us use Google Docs. And ultimately, whatever document we create ends up there. So, this is kind of amazing for sure. 
Another thing that you can do is that if you make some follow-up prompts and then need to come back to a previous version, then you can use this back and forth option to go back and forth, which is kind of great. Next, we can also select a chunk of text and then make something bold or italic or anything else through here, which is also fine. But the next one is also great because what we can do is that we can just select a chunk here and it will give us the option to ask for some kind of change in just that block. So, like, let's ask it to edit this and make it more funny. Once we type in our prompt, we can just hit enter and it will just change that block accordingly, which is kind of great as well. You can see it writing here and then it gets done and we get the new text, which is awesome. But some more things that we have in this are these options. You have an option to change the length, which allows you to either make the text short, very short, or long, or very long as well, which is kind of awesome. You also got a change tone option that will allow you to change the tone of text to formal or casual accordingly. Another option is Suggest Edits. Suggest Edits allows AI to go through the text and identify issues that it may see with the text, and it will mark that accordingly for you. Once you have the suggestion, then you can just hit the Apply option, and it will apply the changes to rectify that problem, which is a good option to use. These are the major options about it in Text Options. But we have another option, and this one is the option to use it for coding. Now, if we move to a new chat, then what we can do is that we can just ask it to make me something. Like, let's ask it to make me a simple Minesweeper game. As soon as we send this, you'll see that it will again start working on it. It will open up the canvas at first, and then it will generate code accordingly. If we wait a bit, then it's now done. So, you can see the preview directly here, which looks pretty good. And if we move to the code option here, then we can see the code that it has generated. This one seems to be HTML, but it can also generate and render React code as well. Although, in React, you'll need to make sure that the app doesn't use too many libraries from outside, as it will not install them, I believe. Anyway, you can see that we have it all generated here. You can go ahead and select and ask it to maybe edit something in it, or you can also just go ahead and share it via the share option, which will share this. And anyone can view the app that you have created, which is quite awesome. You can also have a look at the console errors here and maybe reference that in the chat and fix some issues if that occurs. You can also navigate back and forth between new and old versions as well, if you wish to do that. That's basically everything about this. I find it interesting because it's free, and it always makes sense in coding to have a preview for small one-page apps that you might be generating. As the Gemini model increases in performance, we should have some better results here as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.